Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a first impressions video of I Am a Hero by Kengo Hanazawa. Uh, this is, if you don't know, a Dark Horse release. Uh, two in one omnibuses. I believe this series is 22 volumes long, so we should get 11 omnibuses from Dark Horse. Um, five of them are out currently. I believe volume six comes out soon. Um, I have read the first omnibus and a little over half of the second, so I've technically read about three volumes worth of this series so far and figured I will talk about it now um, as a kind of a first impressions. So if you don't know what this is, this is a zombie apocalypse manga who that follows this main character here, who is extremely mentally unhinged already, and he is one of the only people who actually owns a gun in Japan because guns are not um, not something that most Japanese people have, um, but he does. He he is part of a a shooting club or something like that that so he he does have his own gun and he's a struggling manga artist he's i think he writes erotic manga um and but he's an assistant currently um because he can't get his own series he has a girlfriend but she's kind of seeing another guy he's just he constantly is talking to himself and seeing things that aren't actually there and is just completely not mentally sound and stable. Um, and then, of course, this apocalypse begins, and he is just thrown into this situation that he is not equipped to handle. Um, or maybe he is. Like, that's, that's kind of the funny part of it, is that he's so completely far gone that he doesn't fit into regular society. But when this apocalypse starts, he kind of miraculously is okay um even though he doesn't think he is he's he's still freaking out but somehow he keeps making it by because probably because of how mentally unhinged he already was he's managed to survive this this initial wave of whatever this disease is um so yeah i've read about three volumes like i said so far um since these are two in one omnibuses um the quality of the volumes themselves are pretty good. Uh, they're smaller, if you know, like, the Vertical's smaller form factor of, like, Flying Witch, Devil's Line, Flowers of Evil, that kind of thing. That's how tall these are. Um, so they're quite small. But I actually, I love this size, so this is pretty good for me. Um, it is a bit tough because of how thick these are. Um, it kind of feels like a weird little, um, like a pocketbook, almost. Um, but I think the size is fine. I, I think it, it works fine for what this is. Um, I'm going to show you some of the art. The art is really, really good. I just don't want to get to like a super explicit or violent page. Um, because this is a zombie apocalypse manga, obviously there is a lot of violence. Um, there's a lot of really nice backgrounds like this that are really nicely done. Um, there are some nice color pages in this first volume. Uh, here's one here. But as far as I've read through the second volume, there are no color pages, which is really, really disappointing because these were so nice. Um, I really, really liked the way that, that the color is done. Um, yeah, so it's unfortunate that as far as I can tell so far, there is no, there are no color pages in the second omnibus which leads me to believe that there probably aren't many throughout the rest of the series. Um, yeah, like the art is pretty cool. The faces are awesome. The violence and the gore is really, really well done. I don't want to show it because it's super violent, but um, the art itself is really, really good. Um, and I think that what draws most people to this 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 specific zombie apocalypse story is is the main character and how completely off his rocker he is um this isn't like a, a a person that you're cheering for necessarily or at least i'm not yet i don't know how he develops later on but i don't you don't necessarily like this guy he's not someone you're rooting for he just kind of exists and 
is honestly a little frustrating how like he just how he exists um especially in this situation he just is so unequipped to process what's going on but maybe that's like i said that's probably what's keeping him alive is that he isn't reacting in a normal way um because clearly most other people are dying whereas he is still alive so yeah that's what kind of makes this fascinating is this is not a typical uh main character for a zombie apocalypse story um, I'm really enjoying it so far. There isn't a ton of dialogue. There's a lot of pages that are just a full spread picture. So they're pretty quick to read, which is why it's pretty good that these are omnibuses, because if they were single volumes, like it, I would be flying through them so quickly and really upset about having to wait for the next one. So the fact that they're two in ones is better because then you at least have a couple volumes to get through. Um, especially because of how slow Dark Horse tends to release things. Um, but yeah, this is pretty enjoyable. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Don't let the price point scare you. That's what put me off of it for a long time. Um, but if you get it, I got a little bit of a discount on these volumes, not too, too much, but I don't like paying full price for manga. But I think that these are like $26 in Canada. I paid about 20, 22 volume, 22 dollars each, and I think it's worth it. They're two in ones, and it's they're pretty nice quality. And I really, really want to have this series. The last thing I need is it going out of print and and me regretting not getting it. So, I think it is worth, not necessarily the full full price, but I think it's worth just under it at least. Um, and I'm really, really stoked to finally have started this, and highly recommend that other people check it out as well. If you've read this or are interested in reading it, have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them down below. Um, and yeah, let's let's chat about I Am a Hero if you want. Thanks for watching. See ya.